JBN, we keep you informed. Brothers die in fire. Sisters injured. Please remember to subscribe, like, share. Leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The community of Paradise in Norwood, St. James, failed to live by its name Saturday as residents struggled to recover from shock after learning that only two of four siblings, all under nine years old and left home alone, made it out alive from a Friday night blaze. The mother of the two young boys who lost their lives in the fire that completely destroyed their home on Ban Street has been taken into custody by police on suspicion of child neglect. The Montego Bay police said they are awaiting the completion of investigations to determine if criminal charges should be laid against 28-year-old Chantel Brown in connection with the deaths of her two sons, 8-year-old Javanchi Lauderdale Palmer and 1-year-old Tyler McLeod, and the injury to her two daughters, 6-year-old Corian Palmer and Tyler's twin sister, Taylor McLeod. Me belly a hurt me. I me can't believe some two never just gone so, Stacy and Brown, the child's aunt, said. Last night, me called Chantel and give her some food for giving every them. Tyler glad for the food so Taylor appeared dance my dance. And I never did know so the last time I did go and see them. Me tell for talk to my sister say if she don't want the pity them, give them up for adoption. Me in my room and the eat wake me up. When I rush out of the door and see the fire, I nearly drop down. I bust out a ball when I hear say Chantel if you pick them alone and go on a road. Make the house burn down and them dead. The police reported that shortly after 11 p.m., a team of officers was on patrol in the community when they saw Chantel and a group of persons drinking and gallivanting along the roadway and instructed them to go home. The police said the team drove away and about half an hour later, when they drove back to the same location, Chantel and her group of friends had returned to the streets and were again drinking. Sometime after, an individual came to the scene raising an alarm that Chantel's house was on fire. When the police drove to the scene, the one-bedroom board dwelling was engulfed in flames and the firefighters were attempting to put out the blaze. Corey Han had managed to run from the blazing house, dragging her sister with her. The charred remains of Javantry were found on a bed, while Tyler's burnt body was discovered underneath the bed. Corey Han was treated and released, and her one-year-old sister admitted in serious condition. Lucille Johnson, the four children's grandmother, wept openly at the scene, describing her grandsons as a little heartbeat. Yesterday, the grieving family was visited by National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang, who is also the Member of Parliament for Northwest St. James, the constituency in which the community lies. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.